Today, we're gonna go over some tips and tricks on conversations tab inside a high level with the new filters and features that you're probably not taking advantage of that will make your life incredibly easy, especially when it comes to conversing with your customers and your clients. So stay tuned and build along with us. All right, some of you might not know, but all of a sudden, High Level decided to put some filters inside the conversation areas, which makes it incredibly easy to filter through the information that you want. So there's a couple pointers and tips and tricks that I wanna make sure I share with you today that's gonna make your life incredibly easy. Now, a lot of our stuff is obviously gonna be blurred because there's our client information in here, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right into the conversations area on the left-hand side. Once I'm in the conversations area, you're gonna notice these recent stars all, and mostly important, the one thing that everybody keeps missing is filters. What I want you to do is click on the filter and in here having this on will definitely change your life so first off all i really care about is the inbound stuff that's coming in into the software so the first thing i'm going to do is go inbound and i'm going to hit apply and then what it's going to do is just load all the inbound stuff that's coming on including messages now i can filter this to include email i can do it to just include text message either way i want to make sure that the information coming in is inbound only now i can come in here and if i want to just do email i can hit apply and then only email will show and these are the emails that I'm getting directly from this. Now, if I want to go back again, phone number, I can take out phone and I can just do calls. I can do Facebook. I can do Instagram. I can do whatever it is that I got coming in here and I can immediately start going through all of this stuff. Now, the important thing to note here is that these filters, you can clear them and you can do it and you can even do it where it's a chat that's going back and forth with you or whoever the assigned contact owner is. Now, don't know if you also know this, but you can also create a new message to any of the contacts here by clicking that little box with the pen mark on it. You can also make sure that if it's a conversation that you want to get back to, like maybe I want to get back to this guy right here, I can mark it as start and go from here and go back and do whatever I need to do. Or I can go ahead and just delete the conversation and then hit okay. Obviously it was a spam one. So it's perfectly that I go and delete this same thing here. Guy has no message. I'm going to go ahead and hit delete and so forth and so on. I can manage a conversation directly in here. Now inside this whole conversations tab, there's also templates. So if I want to create basically a quick little template that I want to reach out with an individual, just letting them know, hey, what's going on? You know, how can I help you? And I want to not type that out every single time. I can come in here, create a text message or an email template that I can go back into conversations. And while I'm in here, I can go ahead and leverage this as I'm going in. Because all I got to do when I'm in that message area to come back to this particular person is come in here, hit the templates and select one of my templates that I have here and immediately go through into a current client emails, whatever it might be. And I have that readily available that I can leverage it anytime. I can do that both in text message and an email. The other thing that I wanna make sure you know is that in order to prevent things to going in here that are outbound, when you're designing your automation, it's one of the most important things that you wanna do is when you come in here, and let's just go to this automation here, and inside of settings, I wanna make sure that I mark as red anything that is outbound. Meaning if they come back in, I wanna make sure that it's just inbound that I see. I don't wanna see any outbound messages going out. So if you toggle this on, if you want the conversation this workflow to interact to both be red. So if you click on here, it actually goes into where you don't want these red and so forth and so on. Now for that instance, probably wasn't a great example because this here is service ticket and I wanna read all of those coming in. So I would like turn this off. But for instance, if a nurturing email, it's an appointment reminder that's going out to the customer, I really don't want that going in. Maybe you do, regardless of which, if you leave that off, then it's got a pretty good one that you just want to make sure you leverage and don't go too far into it. And going back into this conversations area, remember that you can also, if it's something you want to come back to, you can mark a start and then I can come back here and go to my starred ones. And then I have the conversations that I'm actively being involved in, or I just want to go back to. So that's pretty important the way we do it here. Now, the next thing is opportunities and contacts and smart lists. Now, there comes a time where all your your contacts, you're going to want to make sure you start, you know, putting them to active clients, not active clients and everything else. And you want to make sure you create a filtered list, meaning if there's any unsubscribe, bounce and so forth. So I've created a couple here, one of active clients, one of main filter lists, anybody that doesn't have unsubscribes and so forth and so on. Just to make it super easy, I'm going to create one from scratch. Now, if I go to more filters, I can come in here and make believe I'm going to create a filtered list, like meaning I want to make sure nobody has the unsub tag. Okay, I'm gonna apply that. I wanna make sure, and they don't have tag is not, let's say bounced email. This is just the ones that we have. And then hit apply. And I'm gonna save this as a smart list and I'm gonna name it no unsubs and filter. It's just something like that. It doesn't really matter. It could be whatever you want. This is mostly for an example. Now, the cool thing about this is, and I don't know if you know this or not, if you come in here and you wanted to like maybe have the city that they're located in or their company name, or you wanted to have engagement scores and we have email lead scores 
and engagement scores. And now I can tell who's engaged or not, and I have other columns. Now, the cool thing is these columns that you just added, if you now go in on a filtered area and you hit save, it will now save these columns. So you have these columns readily available whenever you start engaging with your customers. Super easy to really create as much as you want of these, and you can make them really easy just to kind of manage. So if you're looking for a specific kind of lead or whatever interaction, you'll have it here. The other thing is you can come in here and manage smart lists, and you could share this list with anybody on the team. So for instance, our main filter list and active clients, we have those shared, but if I wanted to share these, I click on these three little lines, and I share it to all the individuals that I want to share it with. And I'm done, that's it. So so between managing the clients in your contacts and managing clients inside of conversations, you really have a powerful, pretty dynamic tool that's going to allow you to really engage with people in a different way. And don't forget, in conversations, if you ever wanted to contact the client and you have your cell phone enabled or your Twilio or LC and lead connector enabled for text messaging, you can click on here and can immediately start dialing the customer. Or better yet, you can email them down here and you can see what they have. You can create an appointment, book an appointment. And then if you really want to get into the contact itself, you click on the name and it goes directly into the contact. So now you can see everything that they've done and you can go through it and so forth and so on. So managing contacts in the context area and in conversations happens to be a very, very big thing that you can do that's going to eliminate and give you back a lot more time. So hopefully this helps and we'll see you in the next one.